Your constitutional freedoms under assault every day of the week. Your freedoms being taken away rapidly. I'm Artifacts Mars and this is Tyranny Watch News. Together we will explore the issues and the assaults on your freedoms, our failing schools, the incoming hordes of illegal aliens, and we'll find ways that we can stop this and return America to its greatness. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Well, I'm Artifacts of Mars, your host for Tyranny Watch News. This is July 11, 2014. Our lead story concerns a document that's on an official government document on federal fedbizops.gov which details a plan to bring illegal children, unaccompanied alien children is what it calls and there's a bunch of legalism, legalese and stuff that's right there on the government website so document it's a doc file, and this was reported on michaelsavage.com. U.S. Cus Immigration Customs Enforcement, ICE, Department of Homeland Security, DHS, has continuing and mission-critical responsibility for accepting custody of unaccompanied alien children, UAC, from board... U.S. Border Patrol and other federal agencies and transporting these juveniles to the Office, Office of Refugee Resettlement shelters located throughout the continental United States. ICE is seeking the services of a responsible vendor that shares the responsibility of treating all UAC with dignity and respect while adhering to the standard operating procedures and policies that allow for an effective, efficient, and incident-free transport. In plain English, what this means is they are planning all along to bring the illegals here. They've broken the law, and there needs to be mass arrests of government agents. They're breaking the law right before your eyes. And it goes on to talk about giving them this and that, everything, you know, food, water, all that stuff. It's a big, long, uh, three-page doc, three-page three doc file. Um, that's about it. You can obtain this doc file on fedbizops.gov under the Opportunities tab. So essentially they're paying for people to bring in these illegals in and resettle them throughout the country. We're in trouble, folks. That's the bottom line. Now this is an official government document, so there's no possibility of arguing with it. In the meantime, on National View Online, Donald Trump was interviewed and he says, you know, the only way we can't get our, the only one we can't get back into our country is our Marine, referring to a reservist named Andrew Ta Morresi who was mistakenly crossed in Mexico hanging guns. He is now being beaten and tortured in a Mexican prison, and our government will do nothing to help him. Obama's turned a blind eye to him. But we can bust in hundreds of thousands of illegal aliens, is uh, Trump's point. Right on, Don. In the meantime, according to the Washington Examiner, the White House is standing by its claim that border security is stronger than ever. 
That's unbelievable I would say that. The White House is standing by a statement on its website claiming that border security is at its strongest in history even in the face of a spiraling border crisis in Texas. Under the heading Border Security on the White House website's section of on President Obama's immigration proposal, the White House Dot gov website gives the president credit for having double the number of border patrol agents saying today's border security is stronger than it has ever been. Oh boy. Uh, you know what Nazi said? The bigger the lie, <laughs> the easier it is to get people to believe you. In the meantime, the Obama administration again ramped up its estimates of the child migrant crisis at the southwest border, predicting as many as 90,000 unaccompanied minors, illegal aliens, could be apprehended before the end of the fiscal year, meaning they'll be brought in. September 30, a more than threefold increase in over 2013. So there they directly contradict themselves. Border's not secure. We're in a lot of danger, people. Uh, Republicans mean unconvinced, saying the White House was offering pie in the sky and have been too slow to respond to the crisis. Now there's the understatement of the year. They're not just slow to respond to the crisis, <laughs> not responding, period. I mean, Obama is playing pool while this country is flooded. In other news, in the city of Miami, Miami-Dade Police Department is advising people to buy guns and be ready to protect themselves because of budget cuts. Now, this is a new one on me. Police actually advocating people buy guns in order to defend themselves. Well, you won't hear about that in Chicago or Detroit, where crime is rampant and guns are illegal. Unbelievable that budgets get cut and then people have to protect themselves. That's kind of what we do out in the country, though. And now for a mad scientist update. This is from the Daily Record in the UK. Scientists are saying that global warming is going to cause redheads to disappear from the earth, completely ignoring basic biological science, basic genetic science, of course. The claim is that the world will get sunnier, and especially Scotland, even though Scotland isn't the only place that redheads live. Scotland will get sunnier, and because red hair is linked to increased vitamin D production as the sun hits the skin, It'll no longer be necessary, so it'll just fade off into the distance. And the gene will just go away. Red hair is a recessive gene. Now that's very interesting because... Hmm, uh, you scientists, are you out of your minds? I gotta make this simple for people to understand. If you don't understand this already, man sees redhead, man likes redhead, man marries redhead, they have kids. And every one of their kids has at least one redhead gene in them. Because red hair is a recessive gene, and the redhead has two genes for it. It's the redhead gene is not going anywhere. It has nothing to do with climate. It has everything to do with lust. 
Give me a break, people. That's one of our mad scientist updates for today. From the last resistance dot com the giant uh, department store known as Target becomes a target of armed robberies after de declaring themselves to be a gun-free zone. Well, what I expect. Target painted a bullseye right on their employees by saying, you can't protect yourself. We can't protect ourselves. So bad guys know this and the bad guys go after them. This is not hard to figure out, people. They never learn. In Australia, in international news, there's a now push on so far, it's just one judge, so it's not a national push to normalize. Are you ready for this? To normalize incest. That's right. An Australian judge recently declared that our modern society had moved on past condemning incest between consenting adults and his argument is perverse. A jury might find nothing untoward in advance of a brother towards his sister once she had sexually matured, had sexual relationships with other men and was now available, not having a sexual partner. If this was done in the 1950s and you had a jury of 12 men there, which is what you'd invariably have, they would say it was unnatural for a man to be interested in another man or a man being interested in a boy. Those things are gone. So this judge says that homosexuality is normal and first man boy of love, otherwise known as pedophilia, is also normal. And now Judge Nielsen is also saying that incest between the brother and sister is also normal. This is a liberal whack job that's worse than most of the whack jobs here in the United States. I can't believe that anybody would put up with this the smart girl should be thrown out of office as far as I'm concerned. But I'm not in Australia, I'm an American, so... For now, he's their problem. About the only thing left uh, for these people to endorse is human-animal sex, and you can bet that's coming. I'm going to wrap up Tyranny Watch News today with a story about a whack job in, well, a whack job bank in Walton, Kentucky. U.S. Bank office in Walton, K Kentucky fired an employee just for telling a customer, have a nice have a blessed day. That's it. She's been doing this for years. Saying, telling customers, have a blessed day, and nobody's ever complained. Holly Neese is filing a lawsuit for wrongful termination against the bank, as well she should. The bank insists that they told her to stop saying, have a blessed day. Well, I don't know what the truth of that is, but these are obviously a bunch of radical atheists who hate 
uh, Christianity because it would be basically Christians who would say such a thing and they just hate Christianity they hate people I don't know they're uh, whack job liberals nutcases oh yeah you can be a liberal and be a bangster that's about it and have a blessed day.